Hello, it's Pastor Keith, and it's morning prayer for Friday, January 19th, 2024. Oof, these last few days have been busy, busy, busy with annual reports and year-end reports and budgets and finances, and uh, someplace in there we have to remember why we're doing all this, and that is so that we can have worship and gospel proclamation, prayer, praise, thanksgiving, uh, including morning prayer. So here's a psalm that was appointed for this week. It's about 17 verses, Psalm 86. And it's a prayer for deliverance from personal enemies. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my cry of supplication. In the day of my trouble, I call on you, for you will answer me. That's the first seven verses, which is the cry for help. And then there is uh, thanksgiving and prayer for guidance here. Listen to these. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and bow down before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart to revere your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord, my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love toward me. You have delivered my soul from the depths of Sha'ol. O God, the innocent rise up against me. A band of ruffians seeks my life, and they do not set you before them. But you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Turn to me and be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant. Save the child of your serving girl. Show me a sign of your favor so that those who hate me may see it and be put to shame. Because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. So again, in the Psalms uh, like this, uh, there is a cry for help. And then there's an immediate thanks for God's steadfast love, for God hearing the cry for help, and for God rescuing us from enemies, both personal and collective. And uh, it's a standard format for a psalm. So I invite you to listen to that as uh, you're able when you read through psalms yourself or when you hear them in, um, in church, when we read them responsively. E pule kako. Here's, let us pray. O God, our refuge, in the midst of violence, be a tower of safety for all who cry out to you. Strengthen our faith in your mercy that we may sing your praise from generation to generation. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And now may Almighty God, the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier, keep you safe from all enemies, from all peril, from all violence, today and always. Amen.